Hey guys, it's Down Phoenix, and I decided to do a short little video about the demo of Syndicate. Um, not any actual game footage, just kind of like my thoughts on uh, what I thought about the demo. I played for, I don't know, about an hour ish, maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> but um, it's a game I've been kind of looking forward to uh, ever since I've seen uh, EA announce it, you know, because I thought it'd be pretty cool to see a new Syndicate game. Uh, I was a pretty big fan of the original Syndicate on PC uh, back in the day. Actually, Mac, technically, because my friend Ryan, he had a Macintosh. He had, had that game for Macintosh, and I thought that was, like, the coolest game back then. Well, maybe not the coolest game, but it was pretty cool. It was, like, the, it was like my favorite game of his, anyways, uh, besides uh, Warcraft 2. Um, or maybe it was Warcraft 1. I don't know. I, mean, I think it was probably just Warcraft 1, because I don't think Warcraft 2 was out yet. Um, at that time I played it. But, uh, yeah, it was a pretty, uh, pretty nice game back in the day. It was kind of, I guess you could say, sort of a real-time strategy game. Um, but unlike most real-time strategy games, it had you command these uh, agents that worked for these corporations. And uh, pretty much your goal was to... Uh, you know, you had various objectives in each map. Sometimes you would go in and, uh, you know, like capture someone or or, you know, kill someone, or blow up something, or, you know, steal some plans, or, you know, pretty much, uh, typical corporate, or corporate, <laughs> uh, yeah, corporate espionage type actions, you know, in the future, where, uh, corporations decide to do battle with themselves, rather than, uh, having the government do it for them, which, you know, realistically, yeah, I just don't see that happening, you know, Especially with how much cost there is involved. Corporations are supposed to be about profit. And uh, if they're going around killing each other, they're making a lot of profit. Because they have to spend a lot of money on uh, defense and everything like that. Yeah, it's not really going to be too successful. I guess unless they really jack up the prices of the products. Who knows? Maybe it could happen one day if uh, world governments decide to give up on uh, military defense. But anyways, I uh, just want to give some impressions about the uh, new game. I downloaded the uh, Xbox 360 demo. Um, like I said, I played for about an hour, roughly, uh, so far. You know, I'm, this is kind of a first impressions. Um, pretty much it's a first-person shooter, you know, like every other thing that comes out nowadays. You know, first-person shooters are so freaking common, it's ridiculous. Um, but it's got kind of a unique spin to it, you know. It's not a typical military shooter. You do have some military-esque weaponry, except it's supposed to be futuristic, but it's pretty reminiscent of nowadays stuff, although I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, though, um, and of course you have, uh, you play as one of four different agents, you get to choose different loadouts, which uh, allow you to also choose different ship abilities, and these ship abilities can allow you to uh, access certain abilities. Now, everybody has access to the ability Breach, which allows you to hack objects and heal your teammates and pick them up and and all that good stuff, you know. Um, so you got to have Breach, but uh, there's also, you know, other abilities that you can access, you know, that you can choose, you know, to kind of flesh your team out and as well as, uh, you know, kind of give your like, unique spin, I guess, to it. Um, I guess you can consider them perks, except they're all, they all appear to be active, at least the ones I've seen so far. You have to actively use them, and you have to wait for them to recharge. Um, you also, of course, get to upgrade your abilities and stuff like that. Um, there's no multiplayer competitive modes that I've noticed, at least, uh, you know, there didn't appear to be anything in the menu. Uh, which, you know, that might be a shame. You know, it seems like this would be a kind of a cool game. To, you know, co-op against, you know, having like a, I don't know, some kind of base mode. I don't know how they would work it out. Maybe they just couldn't implement it in time for the finished product. Um, anyways, the game is the, developed by Starbreeze Studios. Uh, they brought us some neat games like uh, um, The Darkness and Chronicles of Riddick. You know, I had the little brain freezer because my cat decided to join in on the video. Uh, this is Preston. You might have seen a video like a long time ago, about two years or so ago, that I uploaded on YouTube. Um, Down Phoenix's kitties. Uh, yeah, that's one of them right there. Uh, he's all nice and grown. A little bit fat, too, I'd say. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyways, um, as far as the gameplay, 
I think it's pretty good. You know, it's uh, got very solid controls. Uh, the movement's very fluid. You know, you get to slide around and jump over things with it. You know, kind of reminiscent of uh, uh, Battlefield 3 and Mirror's Edge in, in that regard, I suppose. Um, and, you know, you had, like, the four different characters, but it didn't seem like there was any difference between them. I think it's just, you know, different looks. You know, it's their... They're part of that syndicate, you know. I, I seem to always play as the main character, I guess, or at least the first character. I don't know if he's really the main character. Um, I, I don't think he's a guy featured there. If he is, uh, he didn't look much like him. <laughs> uh, but anyways, though, um, uh, just to kind of give you an idea of the game real quick, you know. So, in the demo, there's just one mission, uh, and that goal is to kill this Colonel Gadrin or something like that. And you, so you have to go through the base, you know, you infiltrate different spots, you fight the enemies. Um, you know, it's pretty much a standard first-person shooter as far as the action is concerned. There's really not a lot of uh, deviation compared to the other games. Uh, this game separates itself more in the, um, the other things, you know, the other aspects, like the, um, the ability to use certain chip abilities... Uh, you know, you also have, uh, you can use the right bumper or the, I guess, the R2 or whatever, you know, depending on what you're playing, to um, activate this mode where you can see heat signatures of the enemies. But that's, you know, limited use. But it recharges pretty quickly, though, unlike your other ability. And, yeah, I'm just kind of at a loss of words here. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Um, you know, I had a lot of fun with this game. I think it's really good. I'm definitely going to be pre-ordering it. Uh, Amazon, as a matter of fact, has a deal where you can get $20 Amazon credit if you pre-order through them. So that's what I'm going to do. I always pre-order through Amazon uh, whenever there's a good deal like that. Um, but it seems like people don't really understand how to play this game at all. Like, uh, I guess it would have been nice for Starbreeze and EA to include some kind of tutorial or something at the beginning. Um, I know they kind of show one at the beginning... Uh, where they show you, like, this gameplay montage that shows you what you do. But it's not really a tutorial. It just shows you what you can do in the game and, and all that, you know. So I don't really count that as a tutorial. That's a pretty pathetic tutorial, if you ask me. Um, so, yeah, pretty much the, the, the they don't know how to play the game. You know, I, obviously, you know, I didn't know how to play the game at first, too, you know. But I caught on pretty quick. I've learned that... Uh, when you get close to certain objects, the left bumper icon will uh, will pull up, and then you can activate it by you know holding the left bumper down. And you know you can still do other actions. You can still be in a firefight and everything like while this is going on, or at least for most actions, from what I noticed here. And it seemed like people didn't really understand. I mean, we had people getting downed at the very beginning. Uh, now bear in mind, this is kind of a challenging FPS game. It's not like a game like. Well, I mean, I guess you could say, like, well, there's a lot of challenging SPS games. I mean, I was going to say, like, Call of Duty, you know. Call of Duty can be pretty challenging, though. I mean, I'm not going to dismiss that. But what I mean by that is uh, it's not a game where enemies go down in a couple of hits, you know. Unless you get a headshot, of course. Um, you know, you really have to pump in some bullets, you know. Um, so I guess you could say in that aspect it's kind of like Borderlands with the way that that's handled. And... Um, you know, people don't really understand that some enemies, you have to get close to them to deactivate their armor before you can hurt them. And I've noticed a lot of my teammates um, that I've been playing with really didn't understand this concept at all. They would just blow tons of bullets away. Even though there's a message next to his name that says immune, which means that you can't hurt him. Uh, at least that's what I'm pretty sure immune means. That mean, means that you cannot be affected Gosh. And I just don't really understand. I mean, I know it's a new game. Um, it's, I mean, it's not exactly, you know, completely new. You know, I mean, we've seen games kind of like this before. You know, I mean, I'm not going to uh, give Starbreeze too much credit on originality here. But seriously, you know, it seems like the people that play this game never played a first person shooter before. And of course, my screen just timed out, so. You know, but you have the idea, you know, the Syndicate logo's been on the the video for the first time, and it's 30 seconds. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend you check the demo out, but please, for the love of God, if you're going to play the game, 
just realize that it's not the typical first person shooter where you just run around and run and gun and you don't have to do anything else. You know, you actually have to use a little bit of strategy. Um, you know, you can be taken down easily. Uh, you can take quite a few bullets, I've noticed. Uh, or at least, you know, I guess it probably depends on the difficulty setting you play as. There are multiple difficulty settings. Um, I could see that this game is definitely going to have some replay value. That's why I'm going to go ahead and pre-order this. Um, but please, for the love of God, just learn to play the game. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, uh, just stick bo- stick close to your team and uh, just just let that, you know, learn as a lesson to you. So, uh, you know, left bumper is very important in this game, apparently, because you actually use it for a lot of stuff. So don't forget that. Uh, and then you need to use the D-pad to switch your abilities out. Um, so anyways, with that, guys, down Phoenix out.